Hey there, my name is Al. Today I have a aloe vera plant that I've sculpted inside a ZBrush. Before we get there, if you love all things 3D, please subscribe. All right, we are in ZBrush 2021 and we are gonna create a cute little plant. So if you haven't seen the cactus video that's linked above, but the whole point of this would be to have some similar features as the cactus, like it has the same little, uh, same height of a pot, basically the same size in the same universe. And this is gonna be the cactus's friend, but I wanted to contrast the cactus. So this is an aloe vera plant. Her name is Vera. And when we think of aloe vera, right, it has medicinal properties. We can, uh, we can use it as lotion. There's healing, soothing properties of aloe vera itself. So I wanted to convey that in my character. So the cactus was very rambunctious, feisty little guy. I just imagine him bouncing off the walls if he could run around. This plant is going to be very calm, soothing, friendly, not boring. She still likes to have fun, but just this calm, trusting presence. So that's the end goal with this whole sculpt. Primarily, I use the formers. So you can see I made one aloe vera, I guess it's a leaf, I don't know what it is, stalk or whatever. I made one and then in my gizmo, if I press the gear, I get all these deformers. In the past, we've used taper, flatten, uh, but the primary one that I'll use today is bend curve. So if you haven't used bend curve, super, super helpful. I create one aloe vera leaf, and then with the bend curve modifier or deformer, I'm uh, able to put in these control points and I can very quickly pose each of these arms. So a little later on, when I start working on the head, it's super interesting because I take the lips way too far and it kind of reaches that uh, the uncanny valley. If you don't know what that is, I'll have to make another video on that. You can Google it, but the lips get very, is just very creepy, right? They're too realistic. So thankfully I backpedal on the lips and you can see that in the final product. So I, I worked out the creepiness. So when the sculpt is completed, I take this whole plant, the pot and everything into Keyshot. Linked above is a tutorial inside of Maya, but it just covers the basics of three point lighting. So this would work in Blender, Maya, Keyshot, it doesn't matter. The video linked above is just about principles and how you achieve basic three point lighting. And that's all I did with the render that you saw at the beginning of this video. Took it into Keyshot, set up very simple three point lighting and yeah, hit render. So if you haven't yet, Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think below. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse. 